So I want to start off by just kind of uh, going through how you set your questions. So the first time you use it, if, if you can't see a little heart on the uh, conversation bit, it's because it hasn't been installed. You search for the word reflect and then you, you click on that app and it will be there next time. Once you've added the reflect app to the team, then you'll see a little heart icon. So when you start a new conversation, you'll think, well, what am I going to do? I could just post something, but when you're using the reflect app, you just click on the heart. And then once you do that, it pops up with a question bank for you to use. Now, these questions are predetermined. They're in Microsoft Bank. I guess they're doing that because um, they limit the questions so it's easier for data analysis. So you can kind of see trends over time and things like that. We'll look at the questions next. Um, but there's also a couple of other settings which we'll go into in a bit more detail. The privacy one's obviously going to be important. Now, at no point do children ever see a named pupil giving a certain response. That is not an option you can turn on. So, you know, if you've got a pupil called Simon and another one called uh, Imran, Simon can't see Imran's responses and Imran can't see Simon's, but they do see they can have a class overview. Oh, 40 percent of the class felt positive, 20 percent felt frustrated. You can allow that view, but not an individualized response. Now, and that's where you choose that. Well, you can either choose the children see the overall results or they don't see anything apart from what they voted for. The other thing to bear in mind is if there's fewer than five responses, they won't see an overview otherwise uh, at, uh, until there's at least uh, five or more responses. That's just in case they can work out who replied because it's a very small group in that team. So you won't see uh, the children won't see that class overview until there's a, a certain number of responses already made. Uh, just to, uh, again, for a bit of privacy, really. So the next slide uh, just basically shows you all the questions you can ask in Reflect, and they're in kind of three categories. There's the personal and social one, which are the kind of, how are you feeling today? How's the week been? How are your friendships? What's the mood in our classroom? And then there's uh, four questions to do with their kind of approach to learning you know, success, understanding, growth, specifics about the last assignment if you're using assignments. And there's kind of the big picture stuff, goals and intentions, you know, how for the future, how are you feeling about your next big challenge? Um, you know, how are you approaching the next school year, the challenges ahead? So they're kind of more generic ones 